Day. That's Steve the Kiwi. And he says, How high can armadillos jump? Some armadillos can jump three to four feet in the air. Wow, friends. Want to hear a little joke? Why do cows use bells? Because their horns don't work. Did you know that many people went to the Wild West to pan for gold, friends? They searched for gold by scooping up sand and gravel from the river and swirling it around in a shallow bucket. When the water was swirled in the bucket, the lighter material swished out and the heavy gold stayed on the bottom. Would you like to pan for gold someday, friends? It's fun. You can do it in many places. Yeah. We're paying for gems. When you go up into the mountains, sometimes you can find places that let you pan for gold. We have a couple of crafts we're going to do today. The first is my cattle roundup. We're going to make our own cattle bean bags. Low messiness, medium grown up involvement. Make and decorate your own cattle bean bag. Then sit, help Steve wrangle them with a fun bean bag toss game. Here where I live, we call it cornhole. So we've got fabric rectangles, some yarn, some pom poms, stickers of a cow, bells and a game board. We're going to need scissors and tape, so we'll get those soon, friends. We're going to fold the fabric rectangle in half and place a cow sticker on one side of the bean bag. Then we're going to lace around the fabric edge. There are two different ways that you can lace. Around the sides or just in and out. When you have about four holes left to lace, Stuff your bean bag with two pom poms. After stuffing your bean bag, keep lacing. When the ends of the yarn meet, lace one end of the yarn through the bell. After lacing the bell, tie the two ends of the yarn together. Trim any extra yarn. Make your other bean bag. Then use a game board and wrangle the cattle by tossing your bean bags in Steve's lasso. How far away can you stand while still getting the bean bags in the lasso? You can also cut out the hole and tape it to a table and throw it right through. Sounds like fun, friends. We'll do that together soon. The next craft we'll do today is my hobby horse. Make your own horses for wild adventures. Low messiness and medium grown-up involvement. We're going to make and decorate our own stuffed hobby horse. Ride your horse and go on a Wild West adventure. Stuffing, sock, sticky foam, tubes, felt shapes, sticky felt shapes, googly eyes, bandana sticker, and yarn. So we're going to take the sock and we're going to stuff it with the stuffing and then take the two tubes that fit together, the small one inside the big one, and put the neckerchief sticker right around the middle so it won't move. Put the end of the larger tube into the sock. Use one sticky foam piece on each side of the tube to attach each end of the sock. 
put sticky foam along the bottom of the main pieces, attach your mane to the sock so that the two pieces face each other and stand up. Use sticky foam to attach the ears. And decorate your horse with the googly eyes and nose and mouth. Tightly tie the yarn around the end of the sock and then take your hobby horse on a wild west adventure. Horses were an important part of the Wild West. Cowboys and cowgirls rode horses to take care of cattle and to travel from one ranch to another. Horses were also used to pull wagons and carry equipment, friends. When the horses did a good job, the cowboys and cowgirls gave them treats, like apples and raisins. What kind of treats does your horse like to eat? We'll make that soon, friends. Here's another thing to think about. Cowboys often took care of their cattle in open fields with no fences. The cattle ate grass that grew in the fields. When all the grass was eaten, cowboys led the herd to a new patch of grass. To move the cattle, cowboys collected them and brought them all to one spot. This was called a cattle roundup. Some Sometimes cowboys used a lasso, a rope with a loop on the end to catch cattle that wandered away. Sounds like fun, friends. Would you read a story with me? Let's explore the Wild West. Today, I helped my friend Adrian, the armadillo, search for our friend Betsy, the cow. We wrote horses, sang songs, and learned all about what cowboys do. I even got a cowboy hat. Come on, let's explore the Wild West together. Your friend Steve the Kiwi. Steve the Kiwi heads out west. Steve, wake up. Is everything okay, Adrian? It's so early. Betsy's gone. She was here last night, but now I can't find her anywhere. Oh no! What do you think happened? It looks like the latch in the fence is broken. The gate must have been open last night. Oh no, friends! I know it's your first day at the ranch, but I could really use your help to find Betsy, Steve. Of course, let's go! Wow, there's so much space out here. Yep, cowboys back in the Wild West would sometimes travel for days to bring their cattle from one place to another. This river is pretty deep, Adrian. Do you think we'll be able to get across? We can make it. We just need to be careful. You know, cowboys sometimes have thousands of cows in one herd. Getting all those cows across a river like this could be very hard. After a long day on the trail, sometimes cowboys sang songs to their cattle to calm them down. Look over there. I'm so glad she's safe. It's Betsy. Thanks, Steve. You were a big help. Here, take this hat. You're a real cowboy now. Wow. Thanks, Adrian. And off they rode. We can draw a little later, friends. We can make a sheriff star or wagon or cactus, all with these little shapes. Did you know cacti can come in all kinds of colors besides green? Some cacti are yellow, brown, or purple, and some even have fruit or flowers growing on them. The fruit is delicious, friends. Gotta watch out for the seeds inside, but you can just bite them and it tastes delicious. Did you know some of the oldest railroad tracks were built over 150 years ago? They were built across the USA so people could travel from one side of the country to the other. We can make our own rattlesnake, get a necktie, put some ba beads or bells with a rubber band on the end of the tie, and tie a second rubber band at the end of the snake to make the rattle. Ball up the sock and put it in the wide end of the tie to make the snake's head. 
Then use some markers and googly eyes to decorate your snake. Then it can rattle with the beads and the rattles at the end. A rattlesnake's rattle is made out of something called keratin. Keratin is the same thing that your fingernails are made out of, friends. What kind of things are found out in the Wild West? Snakes? Cacti? Lizards come in all colors and sizes. Tumbleweeds? <laughs> and wagons. We can draw those together. Discover jobs in the Wild West. Towns in the Wild West were very busy. There were lots of different jobs for people to do and many places to shop. The railroad conductor was in charge of running the trains that came through town. The sheriff protected the town and made sure that people didn't break rules. Prospectors searched for small bits of gold in caves and in rivers. The general store sold all kinds of things there was a manager to help customers and to keep the store clean. Cowboys took care of cattle on a ranch. They led cows to places to eat and drink and keep them safe. We can do a maze, play a little game. Make some wagon wheel chili. Have you ever eaten pasta that looks like a wagon wheel. All you need is a can of chili and the wagon wheel pasta. It's called Rotelli. You can make a covered wagon. Use a tissue box, some paper, tape, cardboard circles, and markers. Just put the piece of paper on top of the tissue box. Tape it down on either side add the wheels and decorate and play. Covered wagons were used to move around supplies like food and clothing. People sometimes rode in them but the ride was bumpy because there were no smooth roads. And in the back we can make a paper cactus. Just cut out the cactus, slide the pieces together, and there's even flowers to put on top. Does that sound like fun, friends? All right, you ready to go? Let's go do some crafts. Come on, friends. 